Hey guys, what's going on? Mike the Caveman Q here again from Paleo Prime Long Island and MikeTheCaveman.com. And today's question is, what do steroids do during autoimmune conditions? Now, there's a lot of stigma and confusion surrounding steroids as most people's exposure to them occur when there's a big celebrity athlete who tests positive and, you know, they're either out for the season or in the case of fighters, they're suspended for a while. That specifically though is referring to the abuse of anabolic androgenic steroids for athletic performance. Now, there are a number of classes of steroids. On a very basic level, there are anabolic and there are catabolic steroids. Anabolic referring to building up, whereas catabolic referring to breaking down. Generally, we're talking about muscle. Now, the corticosteroids, such as cortisone and prednisone, are catabolic, I meaning they break things down and are commonly used for their anti-inflammatory and immunosuppressive effects, particularly in the cases of autoimmune disorders, such as asthma and arthritis, and following injuries. Whereas anabolic androgenic steroids are those that are used in muscle wasting disorders and are commonly abused when we're talking about athletes looking to boost their performance. Unfortunately, the use of both directly impacts the immune system. Now, I've discussed at length on numerous occasions that we don't want to stimulate or suppress the immune system. What we want to do is modulate or regulate it, get it to work the way it's designed to work. That's not to say that we shouldn't call firemen in the case of an emergency. What it is saying is that their overuse and abuse can lead to unintended consequences. If you have the genetic blueprint and a microbial community that is susceptible to autoimmune conditions, long-term use of steroids, regardless of their class, is going to be problematic. A better bet and more effective long-term is to focus on the gut. Too often, we're looking to treat the symptoms and slipping slap on a band-aid as opposed to actually getting to the root cause. So by treating autoimmune conditions with corticosteroids that are going to suppress the immune system, you're going to throw it into a tailspin and long term, you're going to have immune dysregulation that can lead to any one of those big four that we always talk about. On the one end, the underactive immune system and you're going to get infections or the underactive immune system to yourself and you're going to get cancer or your body could try to rebound and then you get overactive responses to foods and other environmental exposures and you end up with food sensitivities and allergies or you could exacerbate your autoimmune condition. So just be aware that taking those steroids is not the best bet. On the other end, the anabolic ones can do the same thing. They're still going to change your immunity. Some have immunosuppressive and the others have immunostimulatory effects and that's not what we want to do. Modulate it, get it in order, get it working the way it's supposed to work. So how do you do that? Focus on your gut. You do that, you're gonna improve your digestion. You're gonna improve your immune function. You're going to balance and regulate your hormonal or endocrine function. You're gonna balance your neuronal function. It's gonna take care of all the steps you need to take care of. It's all interlinked. So to continue beating that long since dead horse, eat your real foods. Get that bone broth and gelatin in to help heal your joints, which are gonna be destroyed by steroid use. To help heal that gut lining that's gonna be destroyed by that steroid use. Eat your fermented foods to help heal that gut. Get in enough protein from quality sources to help with the protein turnover. So like those grass-fed animals, pasture-raised grass-fed animals, those wild-caught fish, all that stuff. We always talk about it. Eat it. Do it. If you want to improve your natural steroid production, get in those quality fats, the grass-fed butters, the coconut oils. Just do it. From there, make sure you're micronutrient sufficient. Eat those real foods and get it in a quality multivitamin like nutrients. Make sure your gut is in line. Make sure you have the right bacteria in there. Get in that quality probiotic like Megaspore. Make sure you're breaking everything down and you're reducing inflammation naturally. Get that systemic enzymes like Fibrenza to break down that inflammation rather than taking the corticosteroid. If you're still having that inflammation, get in some quality herbs like curcumin and ginger. Those will help with bringing down your inflammation as well. If you've been on those corticosteroids for a long time, you might want to consider some adaptogenic herbs like ashwagandha to help regulate your natural cortisol response. And again, make sure you get in those lifestyle factors. Get in the sun, get your sleep in, de-stress, keep moving. When you move, when you work out and do some resistance exercise, you're gonna release those sex hormones and growth hormone. Those are gonna help you get bigger. Forget the sauce. Forget the corticosteroids to recover from the injury. There's so many other ways around it. I know I always make it seem like it's so simple, so easy, but the problem is we're looking for the theory. You know, we're looking for the complex stuff. We want the perfect key to fit the perfect lock. We want every mechanism to be locked in completely. Yet in the vast majority of cases, just do the real things. 
get moving, do the lifestyles and eating real food and you're going to see the results you want. If you don't believe me, try it, okay? Do the things I tell you to do. Give me 30 days and watch what happens. And I'd be very surprised if you don't start seeing some of the results you want. All right, guys. Hopefully this helped you out. You know what to do. Like and subscribe down below. Share with your friends. Hand over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at Mike the Caveman over on Facebook, over at Paleo Problem Long Island, and of course, over on MikeTheCaveman.com. That being said, have a wonderful day. Eat real foods and go to sleep on time. I'll see you tomorrow.